NVC5 first warning weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. 12 18 on this Tuesday afternoon and Andrew I know a lot of people are getting hit hard with all that snow I feel yes. left out I wish we had some I know it's <laughs> been such a quiet stretch I know the ski lovers are saying where's the snow I don't mm -hmm. think we have uh, a lot uh, really through the next several days we do have a few snow showers tonight I think that'll bring maybe a couple inches and then again Thursday night into Friday so uh, both of those will be some smaller systems we're not really getting a big impactful nor'easter right overhead which would be so nice this time of year but uh, even down by the Massachusetts border missing out on this current storm this is the look at Brattleboro right now downtown just cloudy but not even a flake flying and then St. Albans the northern Champlain Valley actually starting to see some emerging sunshine and some blue showing up to the sky there that'll be nice to see I think we mix in a little more partial sun moving forward this afternoon especially in northern areas our temperatures are a little milder than average for February yet again low and mid 30s across the region and you can see on storm tracker we have that mostly cloudy sky down by the Massachusetts border all the way up to central and northern Vermont a little more sun is starting to come in right now though across northern New York even into the northern Champlain Valley but I want to show you this coastal storm that's still ongoing to our south the back edge is coming right into the New York City metro right now the steadiest of the snow in far southern and eastern parts of New England so you can see the back edge here New York City down towards coastal New Jersey Long Island still snowing pretty good for the time being and then along Interstate 95 basically New Haven Connecticut to Providence in Boston and then south and east from there still some moderate to heavy snow but the back edge already coming in to central and western Massachusetts so here's how things look here locally the rest of this afternoon we will expect some partial sun through the afternoon hours and then heading into to tonight we're watching a round of some snow showers this isn't a big system by any means but it may bring some slick travel overnight first across northern New York and then it migrates into Vermont by very early on Wednesday morning. I think as we go through the day on Wednesday, many of us are mostly dry. There may be a few flurries in the mountains. I think north and in the higher terrain spots will have some stubborn clouds tomorrow, a little more sun down by southern Vermont and into the Champlain Valley as well. Then heading into Thursday, it looks like we start with plenty of blue sky and sunshine, but as we go through the day, the sun will fade to clouds. And then here's a look at Thursday night, a steady swath of some light to moderate snow will be coming in. I think the steadiest of the snow is overnight Thursday night into Friday morning and then some lingering snow showers will continue through the daytime on Friday. But first, in terms of the snow showers that come through tonight into very early tomorrow morning, for many of us, it's a dusting to a couple inches. I think two inches plus along the spine of the Green Mountains into the Adirondack Park could be over four inches, say for Titus Mountain and Lion Mountain there in the northern Adirondacks. And then here's a look at the Thursday night into Friday system. A lot of what you see here, I think, is on the ground by Friday morning. There may be a little bit more that adds up through the day, but you can see the most common number here is two to four inches. So a decent amount of snow that'll help the ski resorts at least a little bit. And then four to eight, kind of the jackpot towards the Adirondack Park and some of the summits of the Green Mountains as well. So here's the five day forecast. Sun mixing with clouds this afternoon. We're in the mid 30s. I think we do have some snow showers coming through tonight into very early tomorrow but a lot of tomorrow ends up dry it will be cooler temperatures in the 20s and a bit of an active northwest breeze Thursday clouds increase then Thursday night into Friday we have that snow coming in and then heading into President's Day weekend it starts cloudy on Saturday and Sunday a bit brighter by President's Day itself and by Tuesday of next week Sarah Beth